Hi. Can I just start? Okay. Today's economy has been very difficult for those that are searching for a job. Whether you're a college student just recently graduating or whether you have been recently laid off. Or lastly, if you're trying to reestablish yourself in a new career, um, it's, it's a very difficult climate out there. And people really need to consider social media as a great tool in their arsenal of differentiating themselves, of creating a way to stand out from the crowd. College students need to develop blogs where they can position themselves as experts in their industry or their chosen career path. This way they can set themselves apart from their competition and create information that other people would be interested in learning about. Uh, the other tool that they need to use is the traditional Facebook, but not necessarily as they are currently using it for more of a personal nature. They need to make sure that their profile is very professional and that they create uh, links and information that again would support the blog and integrate on this entire personal branding portfolio that they've created in social media. Lastly, they need to consider using Twitter for numerous functions. The first thing is they can find headhunters on Twitter. They can find local experts, opinion leaders, and really also those that they might find who lead their industry and they can follow them and try to engage them with conversation, um, comment on what ha perhaps achievements that they have made and say that you're an admirer of them, that you would like to follow them. Create this online relationship and this down the line can perhaps lead to career or even internship opportunities. Um, the last tool on social media that students should use is of course LinkedIn. They definitely need to have a resume online, professional photo, and they need to develop connections that are meaningful. It can easily start out with professors that they've had in previous classes or other companies that they've had either internship with or a job that they've currently worked for. The great thing about LinkedIn is that they can target companies that they'd like to work for. For instance, they could put in um, Coach or Deloitte and then actually search for that company. When they would bring it up, they would show who is, being, who is actually employed at those positions. And the great thing about LinkedIn is it also shows new hires. So they can go and click on and see who has been hired in a position that they might want to in the future and look at their skill set. And this way they can tailor their own resume or their own uh, industry experience to match who the company has recently hired. Another group that should use social media to help them with their job searching would be those that have been recently laid off or those that are repositioning themselves in the industry, changing jobs, changing careers. And you can use kind of the same strategy. You're developing an online portfolio of yourself and use these tools effectively by creating an image of what position you would like to have or the industry that you would like to be in. So for instance, if you're in Facebook, or Twitter, you would want to make sure that you're blogging or that you're tweeting or that you're posting information that is relevant to the industry so it shows that you know the, the most up-to-date information. It's also a great way to network, to find opinion leaders, word of mouth, and even local celebrities that perhaps you could network with, um, someone that you admire and you can ask for information or ask for advice on to further your career. Um, LinkedIn is the essential tool for those that are looking for a job or looking to change jobs because they offer, again, job postings. Second, they offer groups where you can go in and join specific industries and then learn about the industry. You can then answer, start answering questions as you develop experience and position yourself as an expert in that area. Um, there's also great ways to prospect using LinkedIn. For instance, if you're trying to get a job in HR in the greater Philadelphia area, you can set up um, a search, search engine, more or less, a search result for that on LinkedIn. And it will pull up whether or not you have connectors or connections that will link you to those people that you're trying to f find um, access to. So it's a great tool to kind of reach out and very, be very pinpoint where you would like to get a job and reach those people that perhaps, you know, by networking or introducing yourself could open a door for a job change or a new job in the future. Okay, first I would like to show you how to search for companies that you'd possibly be interested in working for. If you go into LinkedIn and click on the companies and search companies and type in whatever company that would interest you, whether it's local or national. And for this instance, I use Deloitte. Um, it shows you the name of the, of the company. It also shows you who in your network works for that individual company. What's more important, it gives you a tab showing new hires. By clicking on this tab, it brings up those that were recently hired into the company. And it's great to be able to research what skill set that they're looking for. 
Um, you can find out what their resume looks like online, what previous experience that they've had or previous companies. And you can also try to friend or you know, have create a connection with these new hires that you could possibly say, you know, I would love some advice on how you got to be where you are today. Um, another great tool that LinkedIn offers is the ability to reach out to particular segments within the industry. For this instance, you can go in, it says people, you can type in, and for this example, I used human resource managers. When then you're allowed to go over here from location, and depending on where you are, I've clicked on Greater Philadelphia Area, and it brings up all the human resource managers, and there's even other areas that you can further by industry. You can actually go down if you're looking for a job in information technology or in pharmaceuticals. It'll bring up those human resource managers and even show you if you already have a connection. So if you do, you could reach out to the one who is your connection and say, hey, I would really like to meet this individual. Could you provide me an introduction? Um, it's another a great tool to you know, prioritize maybe the top companies that you're looking for and then create a way of um, a plan of action to reach out to these individual HR managers.